Hi everyone, it's Vacha here from RecordingStudio9.com and thanks for joining me again. Pro Tools, a legit copy for free. Is it possible? I'll show you how we can get it. A few months ago, Avid, the creators of Pro Tools, released their free version. Yes, you heard it. A free version of Pro Tools that uh, you are able to download and use it with no time limitation. Obviously, being free, it does have its functional limitations. The free version is actually called Pro Tools First. I will guide you through and show you how we go to Avid website and download Pro Tools first, um, register for free and download it and install it and see what its limitations are and how far we can go with uh, Pro Tools first. And so without any further ado, let's head on to our website and I will show you how you can download your free Pro Tools first DAW. To download Pro Tools first, all we have to do is visit this website apps.avid.com forward slash Pro Tools first. You'll come up to the website and it's a very informative website with lots of information and guide how to download your Pro Tools first. So by just scrolling uh, down the list so you can see they give out lots of information what is possible with Pro Tools first and how you are able to record whether um, you're recording uh, keyboards or uh, vocal mics uh, synthesizers and uh, how you can actually compose music and edit your music that you've recorded and what other enhancements you can do what plugins are available for Pro Tools first, though they are limited, but I think uh, by just looking at what's available, it's uh, quite enough to actually to get you started to s recording a song. There's also lots of information on how to uh, set it up and how to download. There are videos that will guide you through how to download and install, whether if it's for Windows platform or for your um, Mac platform. So to download it, we can basically uh, click the download now option there. And as I mentioned, it's uh, quite intuitive to follow up uh, the instructions. So you first you need to create an account with uh, Pro Tools. And then once you create an account, you get um, an email sent to you to make sure that it's a valid email and then um, then you'll be able to log in and also you need to have an iLock account iLock is a way where Pro Tools and a lot of other um, software manufacturers providers will actually use the iLock system to license their software but iLock account is free so you'll be able to create your free iLock account so that Pro Tools or Avid can actually uh, transfer a license number to your iLock account to unlock your software. And once you have an iLock account, it's pretty much universal. From then on, every time you actually uh, buy a plugin or other software who use the iLock system, you can simply ask them to transfer the license to your uh, own personal iLock account, and then you can use that to uh, activate your uh, software or plugin and so on. So once you've got that organized, and um, as I mentioned, within Avid website, that is pretty much uh, explained and it guides you through. You can't go wrong with it. And then once you've got the account logged in, you can download and install your uh, Pro Tools first. It's not that hard. And basically, you know, is it the get started? Now I have already an account, so uh, just to speed things up. So basically on this screen, you can see how we are creating uh, our um, Avid Master account. So just create the account, an email will be sent to you. You click on the email within uh, the link within the email and that will verify your account and you'll be able to log in. Once you've created your account and you are logged in, this is your uh, uh, main account uh, section. So we go into uh, my products and subscriptions. 
and this is Pro Tools. So as you can see, I have my iLock ID there already, and I have Pro Tools license there. And I click Show, and from here I am able to download all of the different versions of uh, Pro Tools first, whether it's uh, Mac or uh, Windows, and all the documentation that comes with it. Now, in your case, it might be a little bit different because they would, once you log in, it will automatically direct you to download these installers. Um, but if you want to do it later on, download it later on, you can do that from uh, logging by logging into your account here. I will assume that you have followed all the instructions to download and install Pro Tools first, and now you are ready to run for the first time. It might look a little bit different to my screen because I have already insta down, in installed it and ran it a couple times. So you will come up to a dialogue will allow you to create the new project or the song or open previous ones. So as you can see, I have been playing around creating pop and rock songs from the template where I can create another one, uh, the different template to start with, or uh, we can just start blank. Here we encounter one of the first uh, limitation options for Pro Tools first, that it will only allow for you to have up to three projects or three songs which are saved in the iCloud. So all your files are saved online, so you are able to access them from anywhere. Uh, from or from any installation of uh, Pro Tools. So that's one of the limitations that you can see I've already used two by the pop and the rock so I can only create one more before I'm actually stopped. I cannot create any more until I either delete one of the project or uh, purchase more projects online. So that's one of the first limitations that um, might be a problem for people who are creating lots of songs. So once we create or open up a project, a song, this is the Pro Tools a screen or workspace that we are looking at. Because we loaded as a template, so it's already created some MIDI drum tracks. And because I've selected the pop style template, it already created some drum patterns for my pop style and added few tracks for bass for me to record some bass an electric piano guitar some other audio voice tracks and so on and also it's got some effects channels now when you install pro tools first for the first time the uh, virtual instrument expand 2 is not included you need to go and download it from the marketplace before any sound will come out from your speakers when you start playing any of these um, MIDI instruments. The way about it is to go into Marketplace and Plugins. And once the page is loaded, Expand 2 most likely will come up at the top. Now you are able to purchase any additional plugins, whether if it's for dynamic or EQ or reverb or delay or harmonic modulation and so on, you can buy them online. But Expand 2 is free. Even though it says buy plugin, it is still free because it's on the marketplace. So when you click and the page loads, you will find that annual subscription is $0. Now, since I have already downloaded and installed, there's no option for me to purchase it, but in your case, there'll be a button for you to purchase it and download it. It is a big file for a download. It's about 1.2 or 1.3 gigabytes of data that it needs to download, so it will take a while, depending on your internet connection, to download it. And once it's downloaded, then you are able to use Expand 2 to give instruments to each one of the MIDI tracks or MIDI notes that you have in your uh, project. So let's close this. So let's have a listen to see what this uh, track uh, of drums sounds like. And we do have Expand 2, so when we click it opens up, so you have um, so we have selected uh, drums as the kick, snare, hi-hats and toms, and some other percussion in there. 
I mean, you can play around with it to your heart's content. And obviously, you can add more instruments in there. They have quite a few loaded. So it's plenty of software synthesizers and instruments that are, that is already available, all for free. So let's have a listen. And by default, it's been added uh, the a compressor. So this is the exact same compressor, the default compressor that you would get with any Pro Tools as um, you know stock plugin, which is really really great. And at the bottom here, we have. Let's keep looping. Some reverb, reverb. So this is fantastic reverb that you can use. Very simple but very effective reverb. The other thing I think by default loaded is the delay. Again, it's all stock plugins. It's exactly the same as what you would get in Pro Tools. And there's some chorus there for the bass as well. So if you are already used to Pro Tools, you might be able to work out even better. As I mentioned, I'm not a Pro Tools user. I've only uh, just used it very few times with my Pro Tools Express that I own. But uh, hopefully with Pro Tools first, I might uh, look into it further and start creating some projects on it as well. Well, I hope uh, this video was helpful for you and now you know where to download Pro Tools first, install and give it a try. If you like my instruction video, please give me the thumbs up. That way I know that uh, it was helpful for you. And if once you install and try Pro Tools first, most welcome to comment below and give me your opinion about what you think of Pro Tools first, whether if it's something uh, you would go that part. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please feel free to do so. Um, and that way you're always kept up to date with any video uh, that I do in the future. Maybe including Pro Tools first and see how we go. And if you haven't visited my website, it's recordingstudio9.com. Plenty more information there as well. And don't forget to register on my website as a user and then you'll be able to join in to what's called Project Unplugged. More information about Project Unplugged on my website as well. You can also uh, visit and like my Facebook page, Recording Studio 9. The links are from my website. And uh, as always, thanks for watching. Cheerio. Bye.